Today we're going to talk about the meter form non, drawing the vectors, the calculations, meter forms for six, drawing the vectors, the calculations, a little bit about the 13 terminal can wiring, and some adjustments needed when replacing it with a form six. Right here we have a picture of a form non meter. It can be used in multiple ap applications, either a three-phase four-wire Y system or three-phase four-wire delta system. And if you're looking at it, you can clearly see that each potential has its own current coil. So we have three separate potentials and three separate current coils. We also see on this meter a KYZ. KYZ is a value for each pulse and the customer we tell the customer what the value is of each pulse and they can either monitor their load or they can control their load off this value here are some given values at a site that we wrote down on the, on the power master now we're going to go to the watts calculation and the formula for watts is volts times amps times cosine of the angle we're going to go to phase a where we have the given values of 122 volts times the 2.4 amps times the cosine of 22 degrees where current A lags voltage A by 22 degrees. And we're going to go to phase B where we have 121 volts times 2.9 amps with a cosine of 21 degrees. If, if we look at the chart, we're lagging by 21 degrees from voltage B. Now we're going to go to phase C. We have a given value of 120 volts times 1.8 amps times the cosine of 13 degrees. On C current, it is lagging the voltage by 13 degrees. Here's a picture from the Power Master as you're setting up your test kit to test meters. And I always view it as a little cheat sheet to making sure you're using the correct color wires for the correct application. So I always, when in doubt, as you go through the things, stop and look at this. And this is how you wire up the Form 9, and it shows you the color codes that you use with your probes and your potentials. Here's a Form 6 meter diagram. And if you look closely, you'll see two potential calls, and I have three current calls. Because I only have two potential calls, that center phase current needs a potential call to be metered. So what we do here is we flip it 180 degrees, and we pass up a voltage in reverse polarity and we also go in reverse polarity to C voltage. I'll explain this to you in the vectors when we sum up the calculations. This is a form 6 meter and as you can see in the given values we no longer have a voltage B value or a voltage B angle. We're going to go ahead and plot these given values on the chart and we will have voltage A at zero degrees, current A at 22 degrees, we have current B at 141 degrees, and we have current voltage C at 240 degrees and current C at 253 degrees. So in the meter, if you remember, we have to reverse this current, it's reversed in the meter internally. So we're gonna take this 140 degrees and flip it 180 degrees, and it'll now become negative IB at 321 degrees. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and figure out the watts for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and circle v to, VA to current A, and we'll have 122 volts times 2.4 times cosine of 22 degrees. So that tells me the watts for phase A. Now phase B what we have to do, remember, it's, this current passes both potential coils, and it's flipped 180 degrees, reverse polarity. So we're going to go ahead and circle VA all the way to negative IB. And so what I'm going to calculate is to be, I'm going to use the voltage A, which is 122 volts, times the current B, which is 2.9 amps, times the cosine of negative 39 degrees. 360 minus 321 degrees gives you 39 degrees. Okay, and so now we got to go to the other side of B, and we're going to take C voltage and circle C voltage to I negative IB, and we're going to take that voltage and go 120 volts times the current 2.9 
on IB times the cosine of 81 degrees. 81 degrees is 321 degrees minus 240. That's the distance between 240 and 321 degrees. So now we have B figured out. Now we're going to go ahead and do C phase. C phase is simple because you're just going to do um, the voltage and the current and make a little circle between the voltage C and IC. And here we have 120 volts times 1.8 times the cosine of 13 degrees. Okay, when we add these total watts and calculations up on A phase, I end up with 271 watts. watts. On B phase, using voltage A, I end up with 274 watts. With B phase, using voltage C, I end up with 54 watts. And with C phase, I get a total of 210 watts, which gives me a total of 808 watts. So, using the form 6 and the form 9, I still calculated the exact same watts. This was a form 9 meter, and we lost B potential, and we're going to put a form 6 meter in here. So, I'm going to remove this one. need to do to make it a form six is I need to take the red wire and put it right in. So now this meter is wired for a form six with no B potential. Here we had a form nine meter in here and we lost a potential tap and we couldn't get the line core out there to fix it so we had a form six meter and we said we'll just go ahead and fix it and get this meter back working and metering the customer correctly. So what had happened here was we lost B voltage. So if you remember in the form six diagram where that voltage C lands, it lands in the center on the second clip from the center, like they have voltage A and then that becomes voltage C and then you have KYZ and in a blank spot and in a neutral from the left to right. So what I had to do in this diagram was I have to take the gray wire, which is black and white because I lost voltage and remove it. And then I have to take the red one, which is C voltage and bring it up to where the B was and land it there. And now you are associating the A voltage with with the left current and the center current. You're associating C now with the right current, which is C, and the center current. 